Assembling lots of smaller scenes or putting together a collaboration can be tricky enough without keeping track of each video clip. But there's a new feature in version 1.3 of OpenTunes that allows you to add a clapperboard to the start of each scene. And that's what we will look at today. Hello friends and welcome to this look at the new clapperboard feature in OpenTunes. As always, if you're new here, my name's Darren T, and on this channel I release new OpenTunes tutorials, news videos and animations weekly. So subscribe to not miss them and hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. And if you're interested in animating with OpenTunes, check out the other videos on my channel. So on to today's video. And today's video is looking at the new clapperboard feature in version 1.3. So this adds a number of frames to the front of your animation so that the rendered video contains any information you need to show. And you can specify an image and what text to show, including adding details taken from the actual project. And this is useful for assembling multiple small animations together or for collaborations, so that the person assembling different scenes will know who made them and which scene they are. And then you just edit out the board. But let me show you how it works. So here you can see I've loaded one of my entries to the current stick figure collaboration and you include the clapperboard at the rendering stage. So you go to the output settings dialog and expand the other settings section and if you've selected a video format like AVI, MOV or MP4 you can add a board. And to do that tick the add clapperboard button and then press edit clapperboard to set it up. And when you set it up just hit render and the clapperboard will be shown at the front of your animation. So let's take a look. So firstly, as the main part of the screen shows, to include a board you need to tell it how many frames you want the board to show for at the start of your animation. And you only need one, but you probably want to see it for a few seconds, so I'll set this to 72 to show for 3 seconds, and as soon as you click away or press tab, you get to see what the board will look like. But be aware that adding a board makes your scene incompatible to previous versions of OpenTunes. But you can easily remove it to make it compatible with these earlier versions or just to remove it from your animation by setting it back to zero. And then simply you just add each entry to the board and you can see them listed at the bottom right here. And it starts off with the first item of the project name and you can add new items just by pressing the add button. And every time you press the add button it adds a new project name type. And you can change the type for that item by changing the type in the drop down here. And there's three main types you can choose from. The first one is an image and for the image you just hit the browse button and if you look inside the library under clapperboards there's an images folder with an example board in there that you can choose. Holding alt resizes the item symmetrically so as I'm moving left and right both move at the same time or if you move the corner it expands outwards or inwards with all four corners together. Holding shift aligns on discrete positions so you can choose step positions to help align items together better. And you can change the order of items by pressing the move up and move down buttons so that the image can move behind the text and the text can sit in front of the image. So the first type of entry was an image. The second type is text of any type. So you choose text and you just type your text in the box at the top here, remembering to press enter to create new lines as it doesn't use word wrap. And the words change size to fit the window using the maximum size as we've got on the screen currently of 300. So you can see the font size is quite large. I can make it smaller by typing a new number in here. But when the words get to the end of the box they don't word wrap, the font size simply reduces. So if you want multiple lines and to keep the font size then you have to add the line breaks yourself. And again you can place this text anywhere you like and resize it just by dragging the sides of the box. And the final type of the entries all show specific text. So some show text about the project, like the project and scene name, numbers of frames and animation length, and you can also add the date, time and author. So if we want to bring back the project name, we need to press the add button, and that'll add a new item, which always starts off at the project name. So let's just resize that. So let's add the scene name, so we'll press the add button again. And notice again it initializes with the project name, so we need to change that to the scene name. And if you want to, you can give each item a name. So again, let's just resize that. 
So once you've set this up, you can save it to be used with another project by clicking the Save button, which by default saves it in the Clapperboards folder inside your library. So just type a new name in the file name box, press OK, and that's now saved. And then you can load them back in with the Load button. And here you can see the Clapperboard we've just saved, and there's also another sample layout in there. So let's select on that one and take a quick look. And of course you can use this template and edit any part. And again you can save it out as your own clapboard template by clicking save. So as you look down the right hand side you recognise some of the entries we were talking about earlier. So there's an image, there's the project name, there's the scene name here, there's the duration being shown in seconds and frames, the date, a username and the scene location path. And there's also a couple of plain text areas, so if you look here, episode number, if I click on that, and that's just waiting for us to type in. So it's a handy template, ready to add to any project. So there's just one more thing I'd like to show, and that's how you can quickly create your own image for the background in OpenTunes. So you can create the background images in any software, but you have a perfectly capable piece of software right in front of you that can create these images to use as a background. So why not use that? Just use all of the tools available of rectangles, lines, different fills and your artistic skills. And the board layout can be as elaborate or simple as you like. Possibly even styled to fit your animation. Just remember to leave enough space for the necessary text you need to show. Now I decided to create a classically styled clapperboard here. Just to show the items that I wanted to see. And you see I added some titles for the areas where the clapperboard entries go. And when you've finished, just render the one frame out. I've chosen to use a PNG image, you can use others. Then for simplicity, move it from your project's output folder to the Clapperboard's images folder, ready to be added to a board. So let me just use that new Clapperboard image in this new project. So if we just remove all the entries, then we can start again. And the first item is the project name, but we want that to be the image you've just created. So let's browse to that. Inside the library, Clapperboards folder, Images, where we moved it to earlier. Select the image and hit Choose. And then we'll resize it to fit the window the best we can. I'll hold Alt, so it resizes it in all directions at the same time. And I'll leave a little board around the edge, that's fine. And then we'll start to add all of the items. So that's it, a basic clapperboard set up with their own image and items in the order we choose. So all you need to do is save this as a preset and then share this file around to all of your team and ask them to use it as their clapperboard setting at the start of their animation. And then you'll have a consistent clapperboard at the start of every video file. And then when you close your clapperboard settings, just hit render and the clapperboard will be generated and placed at the front of your video. So that's how you can set up and use your own board. So I'll be back next week with another video, so why not join me then? And remember, if you've got any questions or comments about this, or have requests for other effects and future tutorials, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. But that's an easy way to add a clapperboard to your videos. Why not give it a go? It could make your life much easier. And that's a guarantee.